Okay, BMX fans, welcome to my video. This is my 79 Mongoose team model. Be sure to like and subscribe. All right, it's December 21st, 2021. I found this little gem on the BMX Museum. Made a deal with a guy, pretty cool guy. And uh, now I'm actually going to unbox this thing. It's a little bit of a um, process. Um, and I like to sometimes see videos where people unbox things. I already kind of cut the top just so I could make sure it was the item that I bought. But um, I haven't taken it out. So here it is. He put it in a weird box too. A Serta. Must be like a mattress it's a comforter box. I thought for sure it would have been a uh, like a bike box. The guy was a bike shop even. Maybe there's a shortage on bike boxes in California. But <clears throat> let's check it out. Ta-da. Let me get a cutter. Okay, I'm back. I had to pause it. We're cutting this bad boy open. I'm in my basement, and that's the sump pump noise over there. Ta-da! Here we are. He wrapped it pretty good. Kind of doubled it up and layered it up and whatnot. This will be the most boring two-minute video ever. There's a wheel. These are an array of rims. Here's the seat seat post. Can't even tell what it is really. Handlebars, I think these are race ink. They're pretty awesome. It's got some cool Oakley Generation 1 grips. The very first Oakley grip ever made. 1976. And there's the bike. <clears throat> and unboxing is pulling it out of the box. Ta-da! By the way, this thing has uh, race ink forks on it, which are pretty rare. These things are four or five hundred dollars by themselves. These forks, but we'll get a good look at it after. There it is. I'm just gonna unwind the um, plastic. <clears throat> exactly what this leg is other than me mentioning what the forks are <clears throat> and I'm glad they're not the original fork not that I don't like the original but the way whoever built this originally and has it still sits today is awesome I, I just I fell in love with it just the way it looks the way it sits the way it, it survived it survived as uh, as best as it can I believe got some stickers on it that I'm going to be removing. Now, this won't be my style. But some of it I'm going to delete. I do do a number on this. Well, it protected it, so that's a good thing. Whoops. And I have some cool things coming in the mail for this to enhance it and top it off a little bit. Very small things. Cable guides.
pain I'm doing, but it's worth it because, because it took, uh, took a long distance travel and um, stayed intact, if you will. That's an easy unwrap right there. Okay, a mess of cardboard wrap there. I mean, wrapping material. Not exactly how I ship bikes, but it's everybody has their ways and what's at their disposal of uh, materials. I do something similar with the shrink wrap, but I also line it very much different than this one. I guess the end result is they make it safe, so. It's got a pro neck on it, which is awesome. I would not want a uh, double goose neck, if you can see what this bike is by now. I don't want a goose neck on it, even though I like all this original stuff on all my stuff. This one is what, they, what I'm going to call a... An awesome Frankenstein build from way back when. Frankenstein is not a bad statement. It's that all the parts that whomever's disposal and what they like, their style, their taste, and the good stuff of the day was put on this. So let's call it a good thing. It's Frankenstein stuff. Maybe the longest unbox video ever getting there I love this blue I wanted a blue I have a red super goose I have a nickel moto mag and I have a blue candy coat original bike I don't like the new color I mean they're nice they're cool they're fancy looking the new coating that's out there for, for the blue powder color but it isn't really for me guys they just look too good they sit on a carpet most people don't even ride them after that I mean you know to each their own This blue color. It's old, it's gray looking, but yet it's still blue. It's got this weird fork thing in here. I don't know how to pop that out. I don't even know how the hell that's in there. That's in there tight. Racing forks, super rare. You, know, you can't even get this stuff really that easily. Get four or five hundred dollar forks. So I'm gonna need a hammer for that one. And here's the bike. Ta-da! Put this crank on. These are Dura Ace cranks, which came on these bikes as well back then. For the most part, original Survivor with a few modification changes, which I approve. I totally approve. I don't know where the pedals are. I haven't seen them yet. <laughs> they got everything but. Let's say they're in the box, all right? This is a mess. Ta-da, except for this stupid thing. You hit it in there with a hammer or something. <clears throat> no doubt. There's the bike, fellas. I'm going to raise that jack up a little. I might have to get something to hit this with. Oh no, there we go. Eh, never mind. 
Cook Brothers Race, um, I think I said Race Inc. No, the handlebars might have been Race Inc. Cook Brothers Forks on this bad boy machine. Now, let me put the front wheel on. Oh boy, this is totally wrapped up like a man. And maybe it'll come undone easy. Like this. Definitely. Ha! <laughs> Use paper towels from his garage or whatever. A little more wrapping. I was going to put snake fillings on it, but these are kind of cool. I like them. Snake belly tires, if I have them. I have one that I know of. The other one is uh, totally like skid mark bald and um, whatchamacallit, really cracked and dry rotted. Maybe I'll stick with these. We'll see. I don't have wrenches with me. I just kind of did a hand unboxing and uh, what do you call it? Assembly. There we go. I do have one wrench with me over there. I think it'll fit too. Let's see. It's right here. And it will fit. Nice. Maybe I'll stick with these wheels, tires, I mean. I don't know yet. Bike really should have a, what you call it, snake belly tires on it. That's a lead from Mongoose. I'll never find the Mongoose brand tire, but I can get some older, OG, uh, older uh, snake bellies. This is spinning. Not cool. There we go. Just gonna snug it for now. Not even snug it. So it doesn't pop off. There it is. There's the bike. I got some cool clamps coming. Oh yeah, it's missing the nut and it is broken. That's not cool. But now I'll find I'll find something to fix that. Um <clears throat> seat. This one knife. I need my knife. Is this a storage bag? No. There's no storage over there. Looks like it. And an awesome seat for this bike. This one is an MX, what you call an MX uh, Cash MX, but um, I have a um, new suede. <clears throat> I actually have another post too, it's the same exact color. This one's damaged in any way. I'll change it. Hey, where'd my wrench go? Oh. Here it is. Oh, we've been in the same bag here forever. Oh.
this together tonight, but I will. I mean, I am. That should be uh, tight. I need something to get this. That's already loose. thing out maybe maybe not oh I don't have an allen wrench so screw it let me pause the video guys okay here we go as a walk around of this mongoose bmx bike we just went through the unboxing unwrapping and partial assembly now it's it's fully put together um you know air in the tires brakes adjusted etc so this is a 1979 team mongoose the serial number on the bottom bracket designates tc for team and chromoly um, it has the candy blue color. It has a chrome set of Cook Brothers Racing Forks from Santa Ana, California. It has the Shimano Dura Ace um, three-piece crank with the KKT Rat Trap pedal. Has Araya rims and a Suntour seat post clamp. Fluted seat post, blue alloy, the optional suede mongoose racing seat. Um, race ink handlebars. It's got uh, the brake, uh, bent brake lever, the blue dia comp, and it has Weinman brakes on it, but um, they do the job. They actually been on there since day one. Um, it's an original survivor condition wise. It's got the blue tough neck, which is pretty awesome, and extremely rare um, these Oakley first generation grips. These were originated in 1975, this particular model, with the little drop-down tab on the bar end with the insert. This is how they were made back then. And quickly by 76, they were to Generation 2, which did not have that drop-down tab. So these are very old grips, and they're hard to come by. They were originally designed for motocross, supercross, and then they transitioned into BMX at some point. This bike is an original Survivor, which I love, as is condition, unrestored, it has the Dura-Ace um, cable guide clamps, which were typically used on a lot of the Team Mongooses as well. And we're just going to get a closer look at this thing. The alloy racing bars, they're kind of smaller stance, if you will, but... Um, they were used widely back then. Original decals. Array of rims. got its nicks and scrapes and damage just cosmetic damage years of love and abuse
This is an awesome racing machine. And there it is. That tops off this complete video of this awesome machine. Thank you for watching and be on the lookout for more upcoming content.